Jackson here, and today's uh, relaxed selection is Wild Horses by the Rolling Stones. Uh, as most of their hits were, this was co-written by Jagger and Richards, and although it was said to be about a breakup with Marianne Faithful, Jagger said later that the, really that wasn't what this song was about. It was really another one of those Miss Home songs about being a million miles away from where you really want to be. It was recorded in 1969 at Muscle Shoals Studio in Alabama and on the album Sticky Fingers. Here's the Rolling Stones, Wild Horses. Okay, well, Wild Horses is a great tune that features a couple of acoustic guitars playing at the same time. So what we're going to do here to give you a play-along uh, campfire-style version of the song is we're going to include some of the riffs, sort of pick and choose, and come up with a, I've come up with a version that I think you'll enjoy that'll be fun and relatively easy to play. Uh, let's start with the chords you need. And the first chord I'm going to give you is, again, what I call a super G chord. And, and I did look at the last last night. I, I said to, uh, if you're a subscriber, please let me know what this chord is, if you know the name of it. You know, having looked it up now since, um, it's just G. But it's a, it's a, I call it a super G because it's just a varied version of it. So again, your pinky flattens out, covering the first and second strings at the third fret. The next chord you need is an A minor 7, and there's a few choices for A minor 7 here, but I'm going to go with this one, um, which is take the A minor chord and lift off the third finger. And that's an A minor 7 as it is, but what I'm going to get you to do then with your pinky finger is cover the G note on the first string, the third fret of the first string. So it's kind of a, an altered A minor and then adding that. It's a nice chord. So you're going to need that one. You're going to need an open C chord. You need an open D chord. A regular A minor chord. And a regular open G chord without the, the super G part to it. You're going to need an F major chord. I don't think you need to bar this. Um, I, I, don't, I don't think there's a necessity to play that low F, so you just play that version of an F chord, that is um, your third and fourth fingers are covering the third fret of the fifth and fourth strings. That version. This bar is the first three strings at the first fret, and then your second finger is third string second fret. So that F major. Then you're going to need, uh, for the interlude part, you're going to need this variation on an F chord, which is fingered like this. Pinky's there, and then on the second, third, and fourth strings, you're going one, two, three. And that chord. And then a C add nine, which is just to take this and move these two fingers into the C chord position. And those two go together at one point in the song. A really nice chord combination. Okay, and finally, you need a B minor chord, just a B minor bar chord, which is a feature chord at the start of all the verses. I think we got them all. If we didn't, I'll catch up later. There are the chords to Wild Horses. All right, as I mentioned, there's a lot of uh, riffing and playing around uh, in this song between Keith Richards and Ron Wood. Um, in various positions on the neck. But if we want to come up with a solo version, a nice comfortable strumming pattern, I would recommend this. That's a nice simple pattern for you. There are times in the song where he goes into a... Well, I think that would be a nice touch anyway, is, is, is a sort of 16th beat strums there. And yeah, there's a few spots, it comes back down. 
comes back down from the D to the C back to the B minor and does the same thing. Just that quick. So there'll be a few of those in the song, but generally speaking... ...is the pattern we're going with. Okay, before we go over the intro, I want to show you a couple of riffs. One that we're going to use at the end of the intro, and then one we're going to use throughout the verse. And the first one is uh, one that Keith uses in this song a lot. It's just I'm using my second and third fingers and sliding up to frets three and four on the second and third strings and then bring them down two frets so they're on one and two and then strings two and three open and then he finishes that up with a connecting note which happens to be the E note there the second fret of the fourth string so That's going to take us into the opening phrase uh, by Mick Jagger of the song. Another riff that we're going to use a fair bit is this one. It's pretty straightforward. It's just hammering up onto that C note and picking down on two and three. So we're picking the open G and we end up by hammering picking the C and the open G. And then the open B, and then that A note, and then the open G again, so. And that connects a lot. It connects everything, and, and we can use it often in this song. So those two riffs again. Let's move on to the intro. Okay, the intro consists of that super G I showed you, and then that A minor 7 chord, back to the super G, back to the A minor 7, and then that riff. And into the B minor, which is the opening of the verse. So I notice uh, watching Keith Richards in the studio version here, the Stones playing live in the studio. He starts the song with a nice strum up through that super G. Doesn't that sound great? So that's how we're going to start it. Play through that again. And that's the intro. Okay, let's play through a verse progression which starts in B minor. And what I'm going to ask you to do is watch for the, the 16th strummings, those, and also watch for the times that we use the, that second riff that I showed you. So here we go. Ok, 
Okay, I want to play through the chord uh, progression for you in the chorus, and so while I do that, I'll throw in a couple little tidbits, and then I'll show you um, I'll show you those tidbits in a moment. Here we go. Wild horses couldn't drag me away. Wild, wild horses. So the two things I wanted to show you were the uh, climb down from the C to the A minor. That's just a nice transition from the C to the A minor. So it's the C note, the B note on the fifth string. Wild, wild horses. The second time we sing wild horses. And then the final little thing to show you is that little transition back into the B minor. That's all it is. Open B string, D note, hammer down on the D note. Open E, hammer down on the G. Followed by the B minor. Okay, so let's put that chorus together as a playthrough with vocals. One, two, three, four. Wild horses. Okay, I just want to talk to you about that little instrumental section uh, featuring these two chords. So we're going to play through that pattern twice. By the way, this is coming out of the chorus. Couldn't drag me away. And then we start the pattern twice. gets him out of that. Just a quick double strum on the C, D, and back to the G. Then we get a little bit of Keith Richards stuff here. He takes that one of the, that riff I showed you at the beginning and reverses it by playing it like this. Remember I showed you earlier? He just starts open. Plays it like that, and then plays the G again, and then plays. Back into the B minor for the final verse. Okay, so let's do a playthrough of that little instrumental section. Couldn't drag me away. Well, the only thing left to show you is the ending of the song. And um, the final lyric, the final line of the song changes from couldn't drag me away to we'll ride them someday. So that's the final chorus of the song. And so we'll just play through it twice. And then once that uh, final line ends, we'll play the uh, final two chords, the, the C and the D, we'll pick through them. And just end on the G. Power G, I think probably just the G. Okay, so let's just kind of go through that and then we'll do a proper playthrough of it. Wild horses couldn't drag me away. Wild, wild horses.
something like that. We'll tighten it up a bit for our playthrough. One, two, three. Wild horses. Fine tuning for Wild Horses. What a great tune. Um, some neat harmonies to learn in it. So you see if you can figure out what I was doing there. I think that's. I think I had it right. Um, a neat harmony, I should say. A nice steady strumming pattern for this song. Uh, some really neat chord changes. A little instrumental section and a lot of little riffing things. All that kind of stuff. You can play with it a bit. I mean, Ronnie Wood was playing the same sort of riff up here. But uh, I just chose to, to do it down here where Keith was playing it because it's easier to transition into the open chords from down there. All right, the Rolling Stones, Wild Horses. We'll ride them someday. We'll see you next time on Song Mentor.